In this top 10 tier list for drums of the Who songs, we will explore six elements of Kit Moon drumming. I will show you some of the best parts and rank the songs according to the skills and the drummer level requisites. I will tell you a couple of curious stories about Keith Moon, we will unveil his special ability, we will see his influence tree, I will improvise a drum solo in Keith Moon style and of course the character sheet. Let's go! First song of this top 10 and we are already in D tier with I can see for miles. Minimum drum level 31. As you can hear, I add the original song in the background, just to let you track which part I'm playing. Let me know in the comments if you prefer this way or the drums only like before. Alright, in D tier is also Baba O'Reilly, minimum drum level 32. We got to sit here with a very famous pinball wizard. Minimum drum level 34. Okay, the first story is this. When Moon died in 1978, The Who just released the album Who Are You? Look at the cover image. In the chair where Keith is sitting, you can read Not to be taken away. That's sinisterly ironic. Let's proceed with the tier list. In C tier, indeed, we have Who Are You? Minimum level 35. Last in city here is One Get Full Again. From this point on we find several drum solos in the songs. I will not play all of them, but remember that later I will show you an improvised drum solo in Keith Moon style. In B tier we find The Real Me, one of my personal favorites. Minimum drum level 37. 
Now it's clear that Moon's special ability is the bass drum mixed in the fields. It wasn't that common in the rock music before him. Do you know that the name Led Zeppelin was created by Keith Moon? Yes, it came out when him, Jimmy Page and Whistle were talking about their new band. Later the lineup ended up to be different, but the name remained. By the way, I made a video about Led Zeppelin too. Back to the tier list, another B tier is the very popular My Generation. Minimum drama level 39. We got to A tier with a rather less famous song of The Who, Out in the Street, minimum level 41. To me this piece represents a very good example of the transition from the 50s rock and roll Elvis Presley style to the hard rock. It's also interesting to notice that there are a few The Purple songs similar to this one. Remember that this song is from the first The Who album in 1965 and The Purple started playing three years later. Another A tier is Bargain, minimum drum level 43. Before to face the final boss of the Who songs, let's see the influence tree of Keith Moon. Keith Moon was influenced especially by jazz drummer Gene Krupa and rock and pop drummers Carlo Little and Hall Blaine. He influenced a huge number of drummers like Neil Peart, Ian Pace, John Bonham, Mike Portnoy and Phil Collins. Ok, we got to the final boss. It's not one of the most famous songs, but it's really challenging, especially for the numerous fills and short drum solos all over the piece. In S tier, Young Man Blues, minimum drum level 46. Good. Time for the drum solo in Keith Moon style.
and finally the character sheet. Keith Moon was a very creative drummer with some incredible skills for his time. His style greatly contributed to shape rock music as we know it today. All right, thanks for watching. Please leave a thumb up if you enjoyed and let me know in the comments what do you think of this renewed format. I leave you with my own arrangement for guitar, bass and drums of Good Times, Bad Times by Led Zeppelin and the whole playlist of my Playing Music series. Have fun, see you in a few days. Ciao!